to viewers i am saranya today's topic is concept of computerized accounting system before entering into topic the points going to be see today first one types of number next one is voucher types next one is voucher number next one is accounting flow and next one is types of ledger okay let us see what is financial and accounting system financial and accounting system basically it's used for business management and development it is a ba- backbone for business it includes manual work also our computerized accounting system with the help of our software many softwares we are using for financial and accounting system if you see means basically we are using tally for all the companies not only for specific companies in all the companies we are using tally apart from that if you see in bpos and in it sector they are using sap as a software for financial and accounting system let us understand in better way while entering into the concept let us start the concept first one is types of data in types of data you see there are two types of data one is master data and another one is non master data what is master data master data is permanent data not expected to change frequently again and again the next one is you see means non master data in non master data it is not a permanent data it can change frequently at any time we can change this is non master data let us see in detail how master and non master data are accessing in computerized and financial accounting system master data is classified into four section first one is accounting master data what is accounting master data the master data which belongs to accounting section is placed in this accounting master data and next one is inventory master data the things which belongs to inventory that means it totally stock oriented information sir maintained in this inventory master data and next one is payroll master data what all the details maintained in payroll sections which could not be changed that is frequently not able to change thus that type of data is maintained in this payroll master data next one is statutory master data in this data it includes the stat the statute and law relating informations these are the data is maintained in this master data for clear information let us see what is master and non master in each and every master data here accounting master data i have classified what is master and non master data in accounting section let us see before that accounting master data basically the master data once created is not expected to change frequently that is master data in accounting data once the accounting informations are placed it should not change frequently that is accounting master data here we are what are all the things we are mentioning as accounting master data is the ledgers which we are created that things all master data for example if you see ledgers like capital purchases sales cost centers then voucher types these are all once placed we should not able to change this so that is master data and next one is non master data what is non master data means the ledgers once created are fixed in master data in non master data for that ledger we have to record the transaction amount the transaction amount may change according to the transaction according in each and every month in each and every day day by day transaction will occur in different manner in different types in that situation the amount will vary according to that situation if you see capital ledger here i have given us capital ledger less 1 lakh the 1 lakh basically the initial payment they paid is 1 lakh sometimes they need some additional capitals also at that time they introduce some additional capital it may be 50000 or 2 lakhs or anything first amount of capital is 1 lakh and another time the capital introduced is, is some different amount likewise purchase once is 50000 and second purchase may change the amount 
according to the amount transaction we don't know what the amount will be there it may be 50000 10000 20000 30000 at the term purchase does not change anywhere it is fixed at any time at any cost but the value of that purchase may change so the changes whenever occurs that is non master data the change does not occurs the term is fixedly occupied the place that is master data in accounting portion the ledgers are placing that place that place that's why we are saying it is accounting master date third one is payroll master in payroll master the salary calculation and attendance are maintained in master data section that is systematic process of calculating salary and attendance will take part in master data that is salary structure is permanent in each and every organization there are lots of percentage for each and every section that does not change for every employee for all employees they are maintaining attendance details also apart from that they maintain their employees personal profile details which is related to that payroll department that that things all fixed in master data we won't change that thing when compared to non masters as said before amount recorded in each transaction change again and again this take part in all master data all non master data for example already i said in master data salary structure is permanent that is example we mentioned this master data in non master data come to same salary section in salary section if you see in salary in the month of january they received some of amount 50000 as salary in february they have received some of amount rupees 45000 as salary there may be some any loss of pay or otherwise any taxes or otherwise any deductions may take part in their salary but salary is fixed term we won't change that 50000 and 45000 both are different when compared to both the items so that we are saying the amount is non master data statutory master in statutory master in master data if you refer means master data relating to law which are said to be a statutory master data we are what are all things we are including in this master data if you see means gst tds and different types of taxes these are all take part in master data when it compared to non master data if you see means gst in each and every year the gst council will take part in case any changes occur in gst they will mention in that council we have to implement the changes that may be tax rates or and any other kinds of forms they introduce any new forms or any other characters categories introduced these are all take part in our non master data according to that we can if you mean need we can change it in master data otherwise we won't change in master data in non master data the tax rates may vary in each and every year the budget the tax rates may vary so that we are mentioning this things all in non master data